What's going on everybody? Bones here with Cajun Our New Barbecue. Hope you're doing fine. I'm doing all right myself. So today, I got a special treat. We got garfish balls. So I'm at my local butcher. Had to pick up a pack. Garfish are a prehistoric fish. Little picture down below. They look half like an alligator, half fish. You catch them by putting a jug with a string and a hook and you just float it out on the water they get caught on it and you just pick up the jug reel it in and you're done a little more work than that but that's pretty much how you catch them today we're gonna go ahead and deep fry these put some remoulade sauce on them eat them up how they're made is onion bell pepper, garlic, some flour and breading with a little bit of egg, chop up the fish, make it into a ball, and there you go. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, our oil's hit temp. Now it's time to go ahead and drop in our garfish balls. We're cooking them for about three to four minutes. It's been three minutes. Go ahead and pull them now because I know the oil is well over 375 degrees. So we're looking real good. Go ahead, drain them on our paper. Now we're going to go ahead and make up our remoulade sauce. I'm just making up a small batch here. So we're going with a half a cup of mayo. One, two tablespoons of, I don't have any Creole mustard, so next best thing is Dijon mustard. About a teaspoon of hot sauce. I'm using Sebastian Sauce's Smoky Bandit. It's got a nice smoky kick to it. About a teaspoon of horseradish. Teaspoon of paprika. Teaspoon and a half of Cajun 180 Cajun seasoning. One, two tablespoons of pickle juice. And here we have it. Let's go ahead and cut into one now and see what we got. Looks mighty fine. Let's do our taste test. Here we go. Definitely crunchy. 
Got a nice fish flavor to it. A little more wild, but still very impressed with it. Got a nice Cajun kick to it. Don't know what Cajun spices that they used, but got a nice pop of heat. Let's go ahead with that remoulade sauce. I did put in a, about an eighth of a teaspoon of minced garlic into it. Like I put in the comment below when I was making the sauce. So remember to put that in there too. Oh yeah, melds great to it. Nice coolness and then pop of heat goes well with this dish. Go ahead put one of these on some bun with some lettuce and tomato, a little bit of cheese. Oh yeah, goes well with it. If you like what I'm doing, please like, share, subscribe, comment below. Thank you. Have a good day.